What's up makeup minions? I'm Kim Witty and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button below to become part of the Witty Artistry family. Super stoked because the new Pirates of the Caribbean movie came out. I haven't seen it yet, so no spoilers, but this is Captain Salazar and he looks so freaking cool. So let's get started. So the ghost designs in the new movie, they're kind of like disintegrating and cracking and flying off into the distance. So I decided it'd be probably a good idea to base um, the makeup purely off of a bunch of reference images and also draw all the cracks that he has on his face with an eyebrow pencil because it's easy to wipe off. I thought it would be fun to add in some third degree silicone to make the cracks really three dimensional. So I mixed up equal parts of A and B and spread them on my face with a spatula. He has some like textural matter on the inside of his decomposing head, so I just sort of dabbed that on and then also spread it on the cracks, drew lines to create the cracks, and then just kind of smoothed out the edges and blended it into my skin. Powder that silicone when it's dry to reduce the shine. Using your handy dandy FX Illustrator palette, I am going to be activating this alcohol makeup with 99% isopropyl alcohol. It has to be 99% in order for it to work. I applied this stuff with just a torn up sponge to create a variation of texture and I'm going over my skin with whites, grays, and yellows to make myself look dead. Alcohol makeup is great for vein work because you can apply blue in a really thin layer in like a squiggly line and it looks totally real, especially when you blend it out with some alcohol. Stipple on some texture. Captain Salazar has all of these crazy cracks in his face, so I'm just darkening them up with a dark brown alcohol activated paint. I'm just filling in all the crevices I made from the third degree and adding a few more cracks on the forehead and on the nose and on the cheeks. Just be really careful and use a detail brush. Darken the really deep crevices with some black. Color those cheek chunkies. Do some dance moves, cause why not? I'm going over the chunky bits with mixtures of brown, yellow, black, and green. It's kind of, I don't know what it's supposed to be on the ghost, but it's kind of just gross and decaying. With white cream paint, I'm going over all of the upper edges on all of the ledges created by the cracking. So this is just all of the high points that the light would hit, especially on the edge of his disappearing face. Now it is time for my favorite part of this makeup. You want to give yourself some big, bushy man brows. So I'm going in with a dark eyebrow pencil, in this case black, and just furrowing them up, and then going in with a gray eyeshadow to really feather them out and make them look beefy. Then spool your hairs upwards. And then you look fabulous. Salazar has had a rough life at seas, so I am adding in some angry brow wrinkles, contouring my nose, making my jawline look more manly with just some gray eyeshadow, and he also has a butt chin, so I'm adding the little dimple in the middle and blending it out. Make him a little aged by wrinkling your brow, filling that in, and then darkening your sockets because he is undead, guys. Darken your waterline, and then I'm going over my lips with the same eyeshadow color to make them more dead. Drag some of that shadow upwards whenever you purse your lips and then also shade underneath your nose. And I'm also adding a little bit of stubble and just dirtying up my neck. If you want a makeup to stay a long time, which I did, I sprayed myself with some Fix Plus. Time to move on to the ghost coat. This part is pretty awesome. It was a little hard to find reference images of this because the movie hadn't come out yet, but I made it work because of the awesome movie poster, but make sure you're following it exactly. His coat has all sorts of details like buttons and a metal and a weird little scarf thing and even some tassels. Fill in that coat with some black body paint. I chose to use a sponge because it covered the area faster. Don't forget your sleeves. Ooh, ooh. Since Captain Salazar is a ghost, his outfit seems to be made into a monochromatic color scheme. So I just went over all of the black with white and it sort of mixed to create this gray blue color. And I drew all of the stripes in and his collar. Then a really quick way to make a realistic highlight, especially on clothing I have found, is you go over it with a cream white using a sponge and just dab, 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 dab it out. Add some fabulous tassels with the same color and then highlight your tassel things. Fill in your button thing with some black and then go over the edge with highlight and then also color in the buttons with white. 
This is when my knowledge of, um, my lack of knowledge of old clothing really shows here because I don't know what any of this stuff is called. I colored what I think is a collar of some sort with black and then added white over it and now I'm adding a shadow in between the shirt. Fill in your fancy little neck scarf with some black body paint and to build up shadow you go over it with white body paint and it'll just mix in with the black so the more stark you want the highlight you just gradually add more and more white to it and it sort of creates a gradual shading effect. I'm using my smoked palette for the black eyeshadow because it's the blackest black eyeshadow that I have and I'm going in all of the areas on the clothing that would cast a shadow. So this is the tassel things and the edge of the clothing because it would cast a shadow onto my skin and this really helps the makeup pop. Do this around your collar. I decided to save the metals for last because they look kind of complicated. So I'm just filling in the metal ribbon with a medium gray color and then outlining it in dark black. Separate your little shoulder tassels with a black as well and then highlight them to really make them pop with solid white. And do the same thing to your collars and then add some hash marks on the stripes to make it look like fabric. Create the same kind of horizontal hash marks but this time using black body paint on your metal ribbons. I'm adding a little bit of dimension to my buttons because they were kind of flat. Add some shadow to the bottom and then a highlight on the top to really make it look spherical. Do the same to the ones on the shirt. Now I'm drawing three medals. One's a cross, one's a star, and one looks kind of like a ninja star. And then I'm going over all the highlights with a muted yellow color. And then also doing the same thing to the tassels because he's not black and white, he just has a really old gray coat. So now that you have the groundwork for your entire costume, here's the fun part. You get to distress it because you've been dead so long. So go in with some black body paint or black cream paint and use a wolf sponge. And I basically just dabbed it all over the coat to create sort of like burning and distressness. But then I go in and also use a brush to create more abrupt distressing that looks kind of like tears. Just do it in little tiny little hash marks anywhere that looks good. To make your face disappear, I'm outlining the edge of my chunkies with black and coloring it in and making my ear disappear. And this will look totally cool on a black background. Deaden up those lips with a white cream paint and then a gray eyeshadow. I almost forgot to make dark smile lines, so don't you forget it. A really cool trick movies use to make zombies and undead characters is by putting an excessive amount of conditioner in their hair and just scrunching it up and it looks super gross. Add on 30 years of smoking by using the nicotine tooth enamel stuff and let it dry before you shut your lips because it tastes awful. Then just add some black ooze from the edge of your lips and you're done. Go hunt down Jack Sparrow and some other pirates. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and drop me a comment below. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this and to become part of the Witty Artistry family. If you have any looks you would like to see, please let me know in the comments below, but I cannot wait to see the new Pirates of the Caribbean 5.